Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 5.1, we see how to assign work resources to tasks. So first, we see how to enter resources on the task information tab, how to enter resources in the detail view, and how to add assignment units. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 4.7 available on group.net. Coming to the project plan, we see that we had created an entire task list with details and we had prepared a resource sheet with resource details. To view the task list, we can go to view and Gantt chart view which is our current view and to view the resource list from the view tab we can go to resource sheet and here we can see all the resources that we had entered for this particular project. This includes our work type, material type and cost type of resources along with their maximum units that they can work and their standard rates and overtime rates if any. Now our next main task is to link the individual tasks with the specific resources who will be working towards the completion of that task. Let us see how to do it. Going back to the task view we can click Gantt chart to see all the tasks. Now we will see how we can assign resources to these tasks. Let us take the first task which is finalize plans and develop estimate with owner or architect. There are multiple ways in which resources can be assigned. The easiest of them would be that you click on the task and from there go to the resource tab from the resource tab in the assignments sub tab you choose assign resources. This opens the assign resources dialog box. You can see that if you click the plus symbol here it gives you from where, which all sources we have to add the resources from. So currently it is showing the resources from 4.7 which is the name of our file. If there are more files from which you want to add resources, you can use it from the add resources tab. Under the resource from 4.7 list, it shows a table which has the resource name, the units, the cost, the work duration etc. So we can scroll down on this list and choose the resources that we want to assign. So for finalizing plans we can say that we need the general contractor and we can click assign. So this puts a tick against the name of the resource and shows the maximum units of 100% which are by default allocated to him. It sees the duration here for the particular task to complete and based on the hourly rate which we had assigned to this particular resource, it calculates the cost for that resource. We can choose further more resources like let us say we want to add architect also so we can assign the architect. Then we can scroll down further. and add the mortgage lender and owner to add both of them. You can click the control key and select multiple and then click assign. So on the top we can see that all the resources which we have selected for that particular task are shown on the top with their maximum units as by default and 
based on the duration of the task they are multiplied with the the hourly cost of that particular resource and shown as the cost of that resource for that particular task it might also be there that the resource is not really working for the full 8 hours on that particular task the resource may work only for half day or only for a few hours in a day on a particular task so ms project provides us the option of changing units in this case let us say that the contractor only works for half a day on this project so you can put 50% and change it directly similarly let us say the architect also works only 50% of the time in a day so you can either directly type the value 50 here or you can scroll up and down from the little arrows here so let us say we make it 50% the mortgage lender probably we can give him a value of 12 and for the owner also we can specify the value let us say 12 so we see that it is not necessary that 100% of the units have to be allotted to each of the resource for each of the task a resource may work a different percentage of units for one task and a different percentage of units for another task so each of these resources are now linked to the task with the units and the cost once we finish doing this we can click assign and close this if we want to see these details we have a number of viewing options let us go back to our view and gantt chart view in the split view we have an option for details so we can click on details it opens another pane called the task form which shows the particular task which is selected in the gantt chart view it shows the name here and basic information like the duration the start and finish date the task type etc and then it shows all the resources that we have added to this particular task if we have added if there are some resources which got if we want to delete some resource we can also directly delete from here by pressing the delete button so we can see for the individual resources the work the schedule start scheduled finish etc are also shown to switch off the detail view we can simply click off from here in the detail view we can also enter directly the resources for a task so let us say for the next task which is sign contract and notice to proceed we can try entering the resources from the detail view so we click on the task first and then click on the detail view which is available in the view tab split view sub tab and details since no resources have been assigned to this task the resource list is showing empty to assign resources here we click under resource name and we see that a small arrow appears we can either type in the first letters and the resource name will appear and click outside otherwise we can simply click on the small arrow shown on the right it shows the entire list of all the resources which are available for our project and from here we can scroll and click to select the resource we want to add let us say after general contractor and architect 
we can add the mortgage lender and let us say we also want to add the owner so you can see that we can also simply add resources from here there is one more method of adding resources for that let us click ok to finish this and close the detail view let us try adding the resources to the task secure foundation permit through the task information tab for this you can simply choose the task and double click it it opens the task information dialog box so we have tabs like general which gives the general information predecessors which show the predecessors that we have set for the task and then resources currently the resource name list is sh shown as empty because we have not assigned any resource to this particular task so again like the detail view we can simply click and it shows a small arrow on the right side on clicking the arrow we get the entire list and we can choose from here and click and we can change the assignment units as per our requirement and click OK so these are the general methods in which we can assign work resources to tasks so to summarize we have seen how to enter resources from the task information tab how to enter resources in the detail view and how to add the assignment units a sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to assign additional resources.